all welcome to bro billionaire this is rp here recording video on 17th of july 2022 we are going to discuss about nifty's move for the next week and first of all uh, we'll check the previous week's analysis then we'll do the uh, the analysis with indicators then with elliot wave and after that at the end we'll check with the option chain so uh, first of all uh, let's check the previous week's analysis in a previous week uh, in this video that you see on the nifty weekly analysis playlist so this was the video video number 13th which was created on 3rd july i think the date is wrong here it should be 10th july i need to edit this so it's a 10th july video this is the thumbnail you can watch that video so we were expecting uh, an up move towards 16400 because there were two bullish gaps here right so we were expecting it to hit 16400 then drop on the downside but as you can see it has already started the dip right from this point onwards so this was the point where we analyzed the nifty in the last week's weekend analysis after that it has went on the downside it has filled this gap this gap as well and it has one open gap here so these things indicate that nifty has started the drop so our analysis in the last week was pretty much in line but not accurate enough not finding the exact level so uh, yeah so with with that uh, previous analysis previous week's analysis we are going to proceed further so the trend remains uh, the main trend remains on the downside temporary pullback has ended as a b wave and we will we should have started the wave c going on the downside so this previous low of 15183 should be broken now that's what our analysis says so let's uh, check one of the quotes uh, that is related to our today's uh, analysis so trading effectively is about assessing the probabilities and not certainties means you have to find the most probable cases and you and and not the certainties means you cannot say 100% this will happen okay so that's what we have we have been saying since beginning there is no exact 100% level or a zone which you can forecast and then you can say that it will drop or it will rise so you have to check the possi uh, possibilities check the probabilities and not the exact levels and exact area from where you can go long or go short okay so 100% finding is very very tough job so uh, that's what our quote is for today and for this week you can say that we need to find the num number of probabilities and and don't consider that 100% this will happen so there is a always chance that the market will turn your hopes down okay so don't keep hopes be ready if uh, the analysis goes wrong you have to change the direction so during the week uh, once it filled the gap i had alerted that the drop could have been started and once it opened the gap down there is a open gap here if you can see then you will you will know that the drop could have been started okay so so let's check the indicators based analysis so indicators here are telling us that nifty is trading near the short term moving averages which is this yellow line 48 ema and this 13 ema which is uh, even shorter moving averages so it is trading near to that spending the time here you can notice that aron has been going parallel it is trading below 50 both red and green lines trading below 50 means the consolidation phase so this consolidation in the channel bound move is indicated by aron as well going on the downside so this is indicating that the market is in sideways structure so uh, yeah slightly bullish rsi but i think it will turn down as per if the drop has started so that's what the indicator telling uh, as per aron the market is sideways as per rsi it's slightly bullish and the fall has here started so what i we can expect is a pullback due to this hammer candle okay so this hammer candle which it has created in last session is telling us that it could go on the upside so here you can notice that yellow line is at 16117 so we can assume that it is going to go towards this and then drop on the downside so this is what we are expecting as a first case only we have to turn not turn bullish but we have to wait for one more high if it crosses a certain level let's say at this point onwards we can think of uh, think of and up move further up move 
possible in that case we have to look for okay so let's say from this point onwards okay so this is the resistance that i would say that we need to wait for if this is broken going on the upside we can assume that it would go further upside towards uh, 16400 because that is the major resistance touching many lines that we discussed in the last video so that's all on the indicators fronts let's check elliot wave so the uh, the previous analysis is like this here we are saying that we are in a z wave so w x y x x completed here and final z wave is in progress internally it is more complicated with a b c d e or w x y z waves or a complex wave structure right like this it's, it's going on since long it is spending time so this was the video that we created on 5th june where we were expecting a dip on the downside again after that the chart has been changed like this where we are saying this is w move this is x move and now the y move has started here also we forecasted that the b wave pullback will come that same thing happened and we started the pullback as a uh, up on the upside as a b wave so this wave looks to be completed now near 16000 uh, 275 right so this is the 1.3 to fibonacci so when you plot like this you get 1.38 to, uh, to Fibonacci as this number. So exactly near this, it has made high and then started drop. I think 16,275 is the high. After that, it has started the drop. So uh, yeah, the last week's analysis, we were saying that it would go towards 16,400 and then could start the drop. We were expecting a, a drop after making top near this. So this analysis is a little bit, went didn't went good. And we, we started the drop from, 16,275 itself. So yeah, so from here, what we are saying that the drop has started, our analysis will be invalid if it again breaks 16,225 level, uh, 275 level, okay? So the previous high, if it breaks this high, then our analysis will be invalid. That's what you need to remember. On the daily chart of Nifty, you can see here, MACD is also turning flat and it's probably going to come towards this trend line, making third negative positive divergence and then giving the bounce. So here the price needs to make one more small low. How much downside are we expecting? We are expecting towards 14,850. Uh, okay, so this is 100% retracement. So then A wave and C wave will be equal. Okay, if it goes near this level. So we are expecting a dip below this in the next one to three weeks. Okay, uh, probably two to three weeks actually not in a one or one week itself, but two to three weeks it will take to reach there. But for next week, it should be a, a drop wave, okay? It should be a wave which will be a bigger drop. That's what we can expect in the next week. So this is the larger picture. As I said, we should have completed a B wave and should have started the drop now. Uh, and and we, we are going to break this low. That's what my analysis says as for the Elliott wave. Okay, now going on to the chart on a 15 minute chart, so that was a daily chart. So on 15 minute chart, let me remove some stuff for some time. Okay, and this Fibonacci also I'll remove for some time. So you can see here, uh, there is a there was a negative divergence all over the MACD and we have dropped below zero now. Here you can see that uh, the complex correction looks to have completed. So this was a channel bound move and again it has taken the support here and came back to the channel but this time i'm not expecting it to survive because it should uh it it has an open gap here right it has an open gap if it fills that gap then our hopes of the downside will be over so the next week uh, in the next one or two sessions we are expecting a pullback and then should start the drop so break of this b again will tell us that the drop has started so we have to we one can wait for a break of this low what is this low 15,927. So break of this will confirm the drop. Otherwise, it will be very risky uh, projecting the top of C wave. And we should not project the top of C wave. Once it starts a drop, we have to wait for break of 15,927. So this is how uh, it's looking in the terms of Elliott wave. And uh, yeah, targets we can get for the upside like this. Okay. So upside, you can expect it to go towards 16,110. Uh, fortunately, this is the level which we expected in a 48 EMA as well. Uh, it was coming at 16,117. So C wave can only 
go 100% or even 1.600. It can even go up to 1.600, but this will be a better case to confirm the bearish bias because from here, if it starts the drop and breaks this, then we will have one empty gap. Okay, so we will have one empty gap. So gap didn't get filled. That is the signal for us that the strength is remaining for the bears. Okay, the bears are keeping the strength. It didn't allow bulls to fill this gap. If the gap gets filled, then that means the bulls still can break through and go towards 16,400. So do watch for these levels, 16,110 or 118 max. I'm not expecting entirely to cover 1.6 Fibonacci as a C wave. So internally now, let's take what is happening and let's understand what will happen in the next one session. So uh, here when I plot channel like this from these two lines. So wave C, A, B, C would sustain in this channel itself. It shouldn't break this channel. Otherwise we'll have something trouble or our analysis could be wrong in that case. Okay, so here we have to count the waves one, two, probably it's already in third wave and it will go like this and then hit this level. So this is how we can expect Nifty to move for next next session. Okay, so some consolidation, it will it'll spend some time, let's say uh, one hour maybe, one hour to two hour it can spend, it can make top near this or even higher up to 16,180 and then could start the drop. So anywhere between 110, uh, okay, 16,110 to this, it should make C wave and then start the drop. You can even use this low if you are aggressive, then you can use this uh, swing low. If it breaks that, we can consider that drop has started, but it will be best to wait for break of B wave. Otherwise, it will be highly uh, risky um, move for the intraday trading perspective. So uh, yeah, there is a no positive divergence here. So we shouldn't hope that it will break the top and go on the upside. So this is another signal for us to remain on the bearish side. So this is the level that we are expecting. It should drop from there. Let's go and quickly check the option chain. Option chain here tells us that there was huge put riding on most of the strikes because at the end, uh, Nifty became bullish. Okay, it went very uh, rapidly on the upside. So here we can say that 16,000 is a major support because this is the biggest number, 44 lakh put open interest. So this acts as a support, right? So the biggest number is 44,000. After that, we have second support at uh, 15,900, okay? So this is the second support, okay? So hopefully it will not break. Hopefully it will break on Monday or Tuesday, 16,000, it should break again after hitting 16,110, it should break on the downside. On the flip side here, the biggest resistance as of now is 16,500. So this is the range for you, 16,000 to 16,500 as of now. But what is the second major call resistance here, right? So let's check that. So the second major call resistance looks to be this one, right? 16,200. Okay, so between 16,000 and 16,000 range, 200 range, Okay, this is these are two major key levels. Break of this will take it to a downside. Okay, and a break of this 16,200 will take it towards upsides towards 16,300, 500 levels. So this is what we can sense from option chain. There was a good call put writing both on the bones, both side we see some progress on this, right? These numbers. So there were calls also written on 16,200, 16,150. But the massive amount of open interest addition went to the put side so that indicates the fall had halted so it could take next sessions half a day to start the drop and in the last one hour or so it should start the wave three of c so once this wave is started on the downside it should be very sharp going on the downside it will be almost 90 degrees going on the downside so from here once it start the drop our idea is to catch this because this is one two and wave three we want to catch so that's all on the uh, Nifty's view for the next week. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Thank you. Bye-bye.